This is the love story of Dick and Jeannie. Born like a sailor on the summer air. I dream of Jeannie with a light brown hair. I had such a glamorous date for tonight. And then I got a run in my stocking. So I'm going to break the date. Dick says he doesn't mind runs in stockings, but I'm cross at Dick. But here's something you should listen to before I go any further. Go back to Dick and me. What was that you said, Dick, about not minding a run in a stocking? I said I'd be proud to go anywhere with you, runs or otherwise. Jeannie, will you have dinner with me? I was planning to have dinner with Ronald. He was going to tell me all about radio scripts and how they're put on the air and stuff. Tell Ronald to stick to his directing and leave my girl alone. Your girl? Your girl's name's Lorraine, and she lives in your hometown. You showed me her picture a couple of days ago, remember? Jeannie, please come to dinner with me. You're here, and Lorraine... And what Lorraine doesn't know won't hurt her, I suppose. Well, very well, Dick. I'll go to dinner with you, but it'll have to be Dutch. Oh, why Dutch? You let me pay for your dinner the last time we were out. That was quite different. I didn't realize that you'll have to save your money to furnish a home for Lorraine. A home for the girl I love, with a blue room in it. We'll have a blue room, a new room for two rooms, where every day's a holiday, because you're married to me. Not like a ballroom, a small room, a hall room, where you can smoke your pipe away with my wee head upon your knee. We will thrive on, keep alive on, just nothing but kisses with Mr. and Mrs. on little blue chairs. I'll wear my trousseau, and Robinson Crusoe is not so far from worldly cares as a blue room for a Well, Jeannie, let's get going. I'm starved. But before we step into a restaurant, we'll listen to what our friend here has to say. <laughs> <laughs> 